Hi, welcome back to ChemWithGo. Today we're going to take a look at another uh, sort of uh, derivative of steric number four, and it happens to be the trigonal pyramidal structure. Now, a trigonal pyramidal structure, uh, just from the name, you can tell trigonal means triangle and pyramidal, obviously a pyramid. So this is a, a triangular-based pyramid. Uh, again, it's actually uh, sort of very similar to the structure of a tetrahedron. Uh, except that the top part of the tetrahedron is sort of cut off and replaced with the lone pair. So let's take a look at an example of a molecule that will have this shape. Uh, trigonal pyramidal structures will have uh, central atoms under group um, 5A. So this will be uh, under the nitrogen group. So let's take a look at a molecule like NH3. Again, this is ammonia. All right, now let's draw the Lewis dot diagram for it really quickly. All right, so here is its Lewis dot diagram. Now let's count the bonding areas and lone pairs around the central atom. So let's just circle this in red. So one, two, and three. That's got three bonding areas. And it looks like it's got one lone pair. And with the addition of that, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, steric number 4. And note that the shape for trigonal pyramidal, again, is three bonding areas and one lone pair. Now, what is this going to look like? Now, first things first, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Okay, let's draw the nitrogen atom as the central atom. So we got nitrogen right here. And we'll go ahead and draw a little ball right here. Um, now, what I'm going to do is indicate that the lone pair, which will be right on top, and I'll go ahead and circle the circle this one right here, okay? And one of the hydrogens happens to be in the plane of the board. So here's the hydrogen right here, and I'll go ahead and put a ball around it like this. Now, we need to go ahead and somehow indicate that the other two hydrogens are actually not part of the plane of the board or the plane of this writing surface. One needs to be coming out towards me or towards you, and one needs to be going into the board. So how do we go ahead and draw this? Well, from a previous video, you'll note that the way uh, I've been having my students draw these is they actually include a wedge, and the wedge indicates that this atom right here, this hydrogen, happens to be coming out towards you. And a dash will indicate that the atom is actually going away or into the surface that we're drawing. So now let's take a look and see if we can find a molecule that looks very similar to this, and you can kind of see what the wedge and the dash actually represent. Okay, so here's an image of what I was trying to represent. As you can see that we'll treat the nitrogen as this atom that you see right here. This would be the hydrogen that's actually in the plane of the board or in the plane of the whiteboard that you see, the virtual whiteboard. This hydrogen would be the one that's coming out towards me right here. And then this hydrogen would be the one that's going into the back, the one that's got the wedges. Okay, so that's our trigonal pyramidal structure. Now, the only thing that you need to kind of figure out is, let's see if you guys can uh, tell me what this is in class. What would the bond angle between these two hydrogens be? Now, you'll note that the bond angle for tetrahedral structures is normally 109.5 degrees. Now, the bond angle that you see right here, this angle right here, okay, is... Let me see if you guys can figure this out. Is this bond angle in green going to be greater than or less than the 109.5 degrees that a normal tetrahedral structure would be? So again, one more time. This bond angle in green is not equal okay, to 109.5, as you would normally assume it to be if it was tetrahedral. Now, let's see if you guys can, can figure this out uh, on your own. and bring your answers into class, will this bond angle be greater, greater than or less than 109.5 degrees? All right, and we'll see you in class.